Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we will be doing a fun challenge, if you will. I thought so there was this new, um, YouTube trend back then. It still kind of is popular, but not as much. But basically what the YouTubers were supposed to be like, uh, 24 hours kind of thing, where they were, when they were ordering whatever the person had, um, be, like after them. So like, they're basically having it, like the food like to the person who was after them, so that's what they order. But I thought I'll be doing that with books. So basically, with this challenge, it, is, it will probably be a 24 hours maybe. But except I'll be reading books. I'll be reading books from booktubers. I'll be reading books previously who previously read by booktubers. If that makes sense. I don't know how to explain this challenge. So basically I'll be reading as to whatever the YouTubers had previously read. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So basically, so I got my four booktubers that I watch. I ha it's not subscribed to this channel, but it's actually subscribed to my other channel. I, I use it as a subscription mainly. But I am following Alexandra Rosman. I do love her channel, so I think she is great. So the last reading, I am going with reading vlog, and that is this guy, where she is reading The Shining. So, which is funny, guys, I read, I watched The Shining from a book we last year, which is, this year it's going to be an amazing cut because I have more free time. I'm not going anywhere in October, so I have more free time. So, it's going to be less stressful than last year, but... I'm interested to see how The Shining will be as a book. So yeah, so that's my first book and that I'm gonna be ple have previously read from them. And my second one is Books with Chloe and the last time she did a reading vlog was this one where she actually read a manga uh, which is called The Horizon by J.H. So that is a manga and that's also what I'll be reading. And last, and my third book to you, but uh, she recently did uh, this one, and it is technically yours by Denise Williams. So that you guys. Oh my god! I dropped my camera. <laughs> I am so sorry. But you guys are gonna be really, really impressed because this technically yours is a romance, and I hate romance. Oh, why are people so obsessed with formats? I don't know. So, that's one. And the last booktuber is Brittany the Bibliophile. And the last reading vlog she had was this one. And it is... So, I gotta mention that. It's Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Ganaz. She is the author of Hacienda. And Harmon by Katrina Lino. So, those are the books that have been previously read by big tumors, and that's what I'll be reading. So, yeah, so I'm actually going to get these from the library, and then The Horizon, I will be reading it online. And so, we will see how this goes. I guess it's been a while, so I've actually read a few pages in. I 
I actually like the book more than the movie. I don't think it's boring. I think it's fun. It's really quick to read. So I do see some familiar conversations from the movie. Um, I just really like the book more. I don't find it boring. There were some parts of the movie that fell flat. But this book is really nice. So I really like it so far. So, yeah, I'm, it's really easy to me. Like, I could probably finish this in like five days if I actually apply it to myself, but it's not gonna be five days. So, but yeah, I'm surprised it's really going so fast. So, I'm already on part two when they have arrived in the hotel, and strange things are already happening with Danny. So, it's really gonna be interesting so I just want to see like how much it is different than the movie so yeah but I really like the book so far of my book. I actually like the book way more and Jack seems more playful than in the actual movie. He seems a bit too serious in the movie. So I honestly prefer the book much more. It just explains a lot. Right now he's finally getting an idea as to why he wants to buy the book but there's some complications going on. So I kind of liked how he had to research as to what he needs. Yeah, and just, he just seems more playful. Like, we are slowly getting some signs of, of him going mad. But, I really like the book a lot more. So I might give it a full stars in the end. I don't know, but... Yeah, so... I'm on chapter 21, so I am going to continue to read it. And we will see how it's going to happen. guys so i just finished the shining i give it a four stars and it was really really good i really liked the book a lot more than the movie the book somehow made it seem playful but at the same time serious i liked the, like the transition between jack being this nice playful man before you know eventually reaching up to his desires uh, i really wish that was how it happened in the movie like in a movie, Jack was just so serious all the time, so I mean, I don't really like that, but it kind of how it happened, so I really like the book a lot, Now there was this one particular scene in the book which I wish had happened in the movie, just because I think it would be more anticlimactic 
and it'll be like more intense and like oh my gosh what's gonna happen you know that kind of intense vibe to it so I, I, I don't know why they took it out so and the way how Jack met his demise is actually far better in the book than in the movie I think the movie should have sticked more to the book um, Lily, she was still the same as she was in the movie. I don't think she was really confident to begin with. So the more I read the book about her, it, I kind of understood where she was going. But, um, I don't know, she, she just doesn't seem really confident. But, yeah, so I do prefer The Shining a lot more. Um, one thing though, is that I feel like Stephen King sometimes go overly detailed There's some things that just doesn't you don't really need details by that much so I think he can scrap almost off all of it so especially when characters ramble I hate when characters ramble and like when you try to make a point like it just kind of loses it so I don't know those are just some two things that I didn't really like so but I really do love the book and I'm really really excited that I read it so I do prefer the book more <laughs> but yeah so now I'm probably going to read the vampires of El Norte but um we will see how that one goes because I'm not a fan of vampires but we will see <laughs> in the white. So, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I know, I have been to the haircut today, so, like, my hair, she really needed a haircut. Like, I found so many split ends, and I kept like, peeling them off. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I just couldn't help it. I just peeled them off. <laughs> but, yeah, she looks healthy now, so. I like it. It's cute. So, I really like it. But, um, anyway, so, I'm about ha more than halfway of Vampires of El Norte. I didn't know how to feel about it. Maybe three stars? I, I like it. It's okay. There's a lot of action, but I don't really know what the characters are doing at some point. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I still think it's okay. I think... I like, I really do love the writing, but, and the plot is like, the plot pacing is okay as well, like, I know my cat's not so slow, but we're just having the character Nina, or Nana, she's like trying to prove a point that she can be who she wants to be to her father without being married to someone wealthy, but obviously things are like falling apart, um, I don't, but um, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't think it's bad, but there are times where I'm kind of like, what, what is the story going? 
so I don't know. But I mean, let's see when I finish the stuff. I guess my, I don't think my rating is gonna change. I think it might be three stars in the end. But I really don't know where the story is going at times. I really don't. <laughs> like it's all here and then there, here and there. But I really do love the writing. I think the atmosphere is really nice. So yeah, that's my update so far. I'm almost done. So, but um. You will see what happens after that, but you guys like my hair? <laughs> it's so nice. Like, before I had a haircut, she was so dry. My sister is singing, I'm sorry. But, like, my hair was so dry and kept falling out so much. Like, I know it's normal to have, like, your hair fall, up, like, a hundred hair strands per day, but I feel like my hair falls, like, way more than a hundred. I really feel like it does. And it's, it's like so dry as well, so if you guys have any ideas on how to make it healthy, let me know, because I'm desperate. <laughs> like, I still want to have hair when I'm 40, so, yeah. But anyways, I will continue to read, but, and we will go from there. Hey guys, so I finished Vampires of El Norte, and I get it with three stars. I don't think it was bad, I just wish it had, like, a more atmospheric setting. Like, it did have it, but... I just want more of it, like, I just want more of the creepy stuff, the supernatural stuff, I wish I had more of it, and it's literally called Vampires of El Norte, so, I don't know why we don't have vampires in the book, there is, like, all the imaginings of how they're fighting the vampires, and that's about it, there's, like, a lot of action in the scenes, that, like, they would just calm down, and then, boom, there's an action scene right on it, but, I do really like the writing. I think she writes really fantastic. I love her writing and like the description. Um, I think the first half of the book is what kind of made it go really slow, but things got a little bit picked up towards the half of the book. So yeah, it was, it was so a fun read, but I just wish there was more vampires in the book. Um, the Magdalena, I don't think she was a bad character, she seemed strong, but at the same time she kind of seemed weak in certain aspects. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think they were okay. I think the romance was okay. Um, it kind of made sense, I guess. <laughs> but, um, it was, the story was okay all along. I just wish I had more vampires in the book. And maybe just less descriptive process, I guess you want to call that way. Like, sometimes they were just overly descriptive, being described too much, so... I mean, it's okay, but it just takes the sent, like, the paragraphs out of, out of it, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't really like when authors just overly describe everything. Like, you don't have to do that, FYI. But, yeah, um, it was an okay story. My first vampire book. It's not really my first, but let's just go with it. It was okay, but now I think I'm gonna read technically yours, just because I want to get out of, the, out of the way. I know, I'm such a hater. <laughs> I just really don't like romance, like, especially when there's smut in fantasies. I'm like, are all this a way you can write a fantasy book without smut and still be successful? I'm a bit aware of that. I don't know, maybe just me, but I'm just sick and tired of reading smut in fantasies. I'm sorry, but I am. Like, it's just so annoying, especially when you try to find a good, solid fantasy book. And when it's just pure fantasy, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so hard to find it these days. So, I don't know. <laughs> but, no, but, um... Yeah, I am gonna read like that purely romance book that's only has romance in it. Uh, I don't know. I really hope it's gonna be a good book. So, I think as Haley said, she liked the book. So I don't know. I think she said she liked it. I can't remember, but whatever. So, uh, I don't know. Let's just go read the book. <laughs> Maybe I won't hate it as much, and I'm being too dramatic. So let's just go see and see what happens. So if I posted the video, that means I survived the romance book. If I didn't, y'all know what happened. <laughs>
of the book. It's kind of boring. <laughs> um, I don't think it's like the book's fault, but it's not me because I'm new to this romance genre. Like this is full on romance. It's not fantasy. It's nothing of that. It's just romance. I think it's okay, but I'm just really not into it. I am trying, but um, I think the characters and story is okay. It seems cute. But I don't know, I don't think this is for me to be honest. Like I am really trying to get into it, but but because I'm stubborn, I might as well finish it. I don't have a lot to go. So and it's really easy to read. It's like full on speed. So like the chapters are really short and you can finish this probably in one day if you apply it to yourself. Mine's taking a little bit longer because it's really boring. I'm trying not to fall asleep. But I think it's okay. I think the writing is okay. I think the atmosphere of the book itself is okay. I think the plot is fine, but it's just a matter of getting into it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think it's fine, but the characters seem fine. They don't seem to be doing stupid decisions as of yet. But yeah, so, I don't know. I kind of don't like the timeline in this because we have timeline that's like seven years earlier or five years earlier, things like that. So I don't really like the timeline of the story, but otherwise it's okay. So I don't know. I probably won't be able to finish this today. So I might give it three stars. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what's happening right now. It's a mess. <laughs> But I would try to finish it and then we will see what's going on. Okay, hey guys, so I just finished the technically yours. I, 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 I don't know how to feel, but I gave it a 2.5 stars. It was boring. I just didn't like the story, but I thought it was still okay. I just couldn't really get to it. Um, like the, the characters seemed fine and like the whole plot seemed fine. I just couldn't get into it. Like, that maybe because I'm not a romance reader, so I don't read pure romance reader. I don't know, I kind of seem flat in a way, like, and also I didn't really feel any tension between the characters or the book itself. There was some moments, but I'm just like, eh, okay, what's gonna happen next? I kind of just predicted what's going to happen. I just didn't feel any moments between the two characters. This is a second chance romance, which I guess it was okay, but I really hated the timeline, and it was just so annoying to read, like, five years earlier, seven years later, whatever. It was just so annoying to read that way, I just don't like those kind of timelines. And I, I just kind of struggle with this one, so I don't think Cord seemed to be good for Paul. He kind of seemed bad, kind of toxic almost. Um, but I don't know, I just didn't really like it, so. So now I'm just reading Holland, and I haven't even started at like 5%. But this will be an interesting read, so yeah, it's my last book, so hopefully I will finish it as well, and I will give you the wrap up at the end of, at the, end of the day, on the week. <laughs> so let's get reading. <laughs> to make her feel comfortable and calm. I don't know, I, 
I think she might have like anxiety, so anytime she has anxiety, she would just, you know, like eat a page of the book and that would help her calm down. But like she's grieving with the loss of her dad and that really hits her a lot, so she's dealing with a lot of grief and self-doubt. But it's a weird book to be honest. I like the creepy vibes and the atmosphere. But I think the characters could be developed more and the dialogue to be more fun. It's kind of boring, like the dialogue just feels a little bit flat. But I like the writing and like the atmosphere and I like the creepiness as well. That they just moved into like this creepy old house because of money issues that they had from before. It's creepy and it's weird, so, so far it seems okay, so yeah, I don't have too much to go, so I'm hoping the ending will be satisfactory, so yeah, I don't know, so far it seems okay, so we will see, but I really hope it's gonna be a better book in the end. Okay, hey guys, so I just finished Harvard and honestly it's 3.5 stars for me, I think some place of the book was really nice. I really like the creepiness. I like how she had things to figure out and what's happening around her town. Um, but like, I just really like the mystery of it. So I think that was really nice. I did like the writing. I like the des descriptions and the main character seemed okay. So it was just really nice. She didn't seem bad at all. I kind of liked her, but I couldn't really connect with her. So I just like how she had those her anxiety in a certain way. I don't think I ever read anyone who like eats a paper and then just calm down. So, but I do think there's some things that have been dragging on that could have been a little bit prevented. And sometimes I feel like the mom one was like um, invasive at times, and I just don't really like how she just brushes off every time that main character has like a you know, a question, and then and the mom's like, oh, we will talk about that later. I'm like, what is later? You know what I mean? So, I don't really like when characters do that, and just either now or never, but who knows? <laughs> Everyone writes differently, I guess. But yeah, I really like the settings of the house. I think the ending, the ending was kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about the ending. I think it was okay. Um, but it was okay, but kind of weird at the same time. It just... I feel like it was an open end, almost. It was just, I don't know, like, it just, it kind of was weird. I don't know, how, I don't know how else to say it, but it just felt so weird and intriguing, almost. <laughs> but, yeah, so now I'm gonna read Harvard, um, I'm gonna read Harvard again. <laughs> I'm gonna read The Horizon, which is Volume 1 by J.H., and I think that'll be it for this video. So after the after the horizon of course I'll be wrapping it up so let's get reading. So, I just finished reading the manga in the horizon and oh my gosh, it was actually heart-wrenching. So basically we're following these two people who seem to have survived like this zombie apocalypse because they have like this infection disease that goes on in them and it kills them. So we have following two kids and they survive. But something else happens to them as well. But oh my gosh, it was such a heart-wrenching story, especially towards the end, it seems all fine and dainty, 
except my instant death, but um, the ending is what took me away. So that's why I'm a little bit TV eye if you can tell. But I give it a 5 stars, I really like the manga, so I really love the art, I like the storyline. And I like the plot twist that was happening in the book, and I think the story just honestly did it justice. And basically, you know, just to appreciate your life, otherwise things are going to hell. I mean, they already are going to hell, but, you know, just to appreciate life. So, yeah, it was heart-wrenching. Oh my gosh. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys like this little challenge, vlog kind of thing. But, um, let me know what you think about it, and please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!